بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم All praises and adoration belongs to Almighty God, beloved of incomparable and inexhaustible majesty. We seek him to shower his blessing, his mercy, and his prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his household, his companion, his relative, and those that follow the virtues that they stitch him to the day of reckoning. I extend my greeting to you, how my saying, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. Ah, we thank Almighty God for this great opportunity, great um, privileges He has endowed on you and I for sparing and strengthening our lives to witness yet another blessed month of Ramadan. Ramadan is now with us. Witnessing Ramadan is a great opportunity for everyone of us. That is why we are expressing a, a profound appreciation to Almighty God for this ample opportunity. It's very, very um, clear that many are expecting Ramadan. Many are in expectance of this Ramadan, but only few are opportune to witness it. And I, among, I am among, among, among them, you are also one of them. We thank Almighty God for this great opportunity that He has given you and I. And this morning, Without wasting much of our time, we're looking at <clears throat> and it's that we shall Ramadan preparation for the month of blessing, month of Ramadan. When you say preparation, what does it mean? Preparation means planning, it means being strategic, it means setting goals. So a Ramadan, as we all know, is the amount of blessings and this amount of Ramadan we're talking about it's so big so huge so genuine that almighty god mentioned it categorically the quran and that's to tell you that ramadan is something very magnanimous and it encapsulates lots of magnanimous um symbols one of the symbols is Ramadan is a month with in which the Quran is revealed as Allah said in the Surah of Baqarah that Shaw Ramadan Lady was in a fee Quran. He said the month of Ramadan is at that month the Quran was revealed. And the second one is this Ramadan and at the first night of Ramadan all gates that leads to paradise will be opened opened for the benefits of fasting Muslims, all those, why all those that lead, lead into um, hellfire will be locked, shut down, you see, and all the jeans and demons Shaitan and the likes will be shamed. This is also to tell you that Ramadan is very symbolic. And another thing about Ramadan is it's also um, encapsulate a very majestic night. The ma night of majestic that is the Layla to the country is also in this, this Ramadan. We have love magnanimous symbols in this month of Ramadan. The time and not permit to me to mention them. But we've seen that Ramadan is very big, very huge. It's a big offer, a big opportunity. Then it behoves you and I to have a very big and the huge preparation. If the, 
the region is not big enough, it's not well planned, then it tends to fail, it tends not to achieve anything in Ramadan. So therefore we have to, you know, have a very big and a huge plan. And that's what we call a standard preparation. And this preparation, you know, it is it is streamlined down into six parts. The first thing you need to prepare for is al istaidadu aruhi. That means spiritual preparation, soul preparation, because. Ramadan or fasting is a metaphysical act or deed. It's not something feasible. So therefore, it has connection with spirituality. So therefore, you and I need to prepare ourselves spiritually well for Ramadan. And spirituality begins with repentance. You repent sincerely you don't go into a Ramadan with sin and this repentance has two faces you settle you know altercation with those you offend or those who offend you you forgive them you also seek forgiveness from them as well and you repent onto your creator those area in, in which you always um, defy or you always you know go against a last injunction you say no to them you know be upright and the penitence also has four conditions you must you know be regretful over what you do be remorseful then you determine not to go back to it again then three you seek for forgiveness by chanting a stick far and Thirdly, you retain um, the rights of the wrong. Those with wrong, you retain the rights. Once this one is fulfilled, then you are good to go. Another thing about spiritual, spiritual preparation, preparation for Ramadan, it has to do with your um, sense of you know, spiritual consciousness. Consciousness, in the sense that, you know, the whole limbs, the whole body, is connected to your soul so your you when you're fasting in terms of you know um not eating and not drinking alone it's not not drinking and not eating alone so the whole your eyes is going to fast with you, your nose your mouth your teeth your ear your stomach your leg your thinking to the extent of your soul will also fast with you it's not a, you will be the time that is fasting but the fasting does not prevent him to listen to listen to vulgar statement to backbiting to you know washing pornography no the fasting should be the type that we be wholeheartedly you know um sanctify spiritually upright and number two preparation is the preparation in terms of understanding that i do i mean i mean financial preparation as Muslims, you need to prepare financially. The money or the resources you want to use in engaging in fasting should be lawful and uh, unquestionable. So you can I use you can I use questionable money or lawful money to embark on you know um, spiritual exercise. Ibadah. It's not acceptable in our deen. Rasulullah said that in said that Ibn Allah Tayyib, Ibn Ayyat, Ibn Ahab, Ibn Tayyib, say, our God, Allah SWT, our Creator, is, you know, um, a, a God that is impeccable, is, is, is infallible, and accept nothing save such thing that is also impeccable. So, impeccability in terms of the wealth we amass is very essential. You don't use you know bribing money you don't use money from gambling money from alcohol money from fornication money from you know stealing in the outer view to engage in fasting so that the fasting will be null and void and number three preparation is what we call al-standard al-ilm that means the 
scholastic preparation. So as a Muslim, you need to prepare yourself in terms of knowledge. What are the do's and don'ts? What are the legislative aspect of the fasting? What are those things you need to know? What are those things that vitiate the fasting? What are those things that make your fasting acceptable? What are those things that make your fasting in the Lord before Allah SWT? All of, all of these are very essential and very important. So you are not the type that we just fast for fasting sake. You fast purposely. You fast, you fast to be guided with your knowledge and experience. The lot of things that happens to us when we fast that we 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 need to be guided with knowledge. For example, now when you're fasting and you mistakenly, you know, heat or drink water, what are knowledge based on that? When you're fasting, you sleep in the afternoon and you, you know, uh, have a wet dream. When you have a wet dream, why fasting? What do you do? Or oh, in fasting, you need to take injection. Are you, are you allowed to take injection? Are you allowed to, allowed to take a um, drip? Are you allowed to go for blood transfusion? As a woman, are you allowed to stay, taste food to avoid the issue with your husband? As a traveler, can you fast or not? You're having an outstanding fasting and the fast is trapped to new fasting. How do you, you know, um, settle the um, altercation between two fasting. These are a lot of things that goes along. Can you wash your mouth when fasting? Are you allowed to use chewing stick or toothpaste and brush? It's knowledge based. Let alone those action. What action are you supposed to, you know, uh, emphasize upon? When you're fasting, what has, what what those action are you supposed to, you know, to emphasize on? It's not that we guide you. That's number three. Number four, preparation is also called alistaidadu and nizami. Organization and preparation. As a Muslim, you must be organized. You must set a goal. You must be able to smart a goal. You must know those this that comes first, second, and last, the priorities. You must measure yourself on maybe daily 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 measurement or um, weekly or hourly or monthly, whatever you want to do. You must be able to measure what you're doing. All every action should be measurable. Am I doing it well? You must set a goal for yourself. How how will I finish my Quran? When will I wake up for vision? When will I take my sahur? How do I attend to sale? How do I attend lectures? How do I engage in thinking? These are things you need to put into consideration. How do I achieve all of this? Let me, is it achievable? Is it measurable? And is it realistic? You have, you have to see all of this when you're fasting. And what we assist you in preparation is when you, you know, try to put them down and try to structure them and see how you can embark up upon them on the sheet. So, This little message passed across to you, um, uh, well articulating and well assimilating. Um, it's I still want to. This is just the second day of fasting. You still have days ahead of you. As soon as much possible. If you are, if you are doing it fine, then keep it up. If you are not doing it fine now, you can just this discussion to you know uh, do the necessary correction necessary amendment and then face it squarely the way it ought to be faced we pray to Allah to accept this little as a lot of worship and uh, come
want it in the scale and put it and make us enter the paradise. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.